Hey, fancy meeting you here. I'm Rodman Flender, director of The Unborn, In the Heat of Passion, uh, Idle Hands, Leprechaun 2, and most recently, Eat Brains Love. And I'm here in the Severin Cellar talking about some of my favorite Severin releases. I'm a big Severin fan. As you can see, I'm wearing my, my Laura Gemser t-shirt from Severin. And uh, I love the label, and I love these movies. All the colors of the dark. Uh, Sergio Martino's Fantastic Giallo. I love looking at this movie. I don't like listening to it so much because it looks fantastic. Script, um, not so great. What happened? It looks like that woman murdered her husband. But it is a psychedelic phantasmagoria. I think it is ripe for uh, what Woody Allen did with What's Up Tiger Lily. He took this Japanese spy movie and, and re-recorded a whole new soundtrack. I'd love to see somebody do that with this. What else we got? Okay, Beyond, oh, Bag Boy, Lover Boy. This is an amazing film. This is a relatively contemporary movie. However, it definitely captures the skeezy, sleazy New York vibe of maniac, driller killer, Ms. 45 feel of New York. I was really surprised that the filmmaker captured that in sort of the Disney era of New York City. I'm guessing that hot dog is not for me, right? No, that one's not for you. Okay, all right, uh, who's it for then? It's for tomorrow's customers. Definitely check out Bag Boy, Lover Boy. As a New Yorker, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Okay, Beyond the Darkness. Joe D'Amato, the great Joe D'Amato, who has done a whole range of movies with different uh, levels of sexuality. I don't think, I don't remember there being any um, explicit sex, but it's twisted and there's all kinds of, um, Sex and dead bodies, let me just put it that way. I watched it on an airplane. I have a Blu-ray drive attached to my laptop and was flying cross country and this was in my bag. I put it on. Um, I will have to sit on the aisle when I'm on an airplane because I'm claustrophobic and I go to the bathroom a lot. So I always gotta have that aisle seat. And there was a nine-year-old girl sitting next to me and her mom was in the window seat and I, I, you know, I figured how bad could it be? It's just a uh, you know, horror movie, so put on Beyond the Darkness. If you see this movie, um, you'll know why uh, it may not have been so appropriate for a nine-year-old girl to watch. <laughs> Wherever you are, hopefully um, you're not too scarred, but maybe um, now you'll spread the word about Joe D'Amato to a whole new generation of kids who should be seeing his movies. A young girl was reported missing three days ago. Speaking of sort of inappropriate stuff, uh, The Devil's Honey by Lucio Fulci, one of his later films. Lucio Fulci is, what can be said about Lucio Fulci, director of Zombie and so many other things, but with the release of The Devil's Honey, I came to the conclusion that he is sort of the Jimi Hendrix of Italian film directors. More is being released uh, in his death than when he was alive. Um, and uh, a lot of it is great, and this is no exception. It is a crazy, erotic thriller, done Lucio Fulci style. Never, 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 never! Really an eye-opener, entertaining like hell. It, uh, I think, will motivate saxophone players all over the world who watch this. Really recommend this one very highly. Oh, okay, Emmanuel, I'm gonna go back Back to Joe D'Amato. I'm so glad you guys are putting out so many of Joe D'Amato's films. In terms of D'Amato's uh, artfulness as a director, he's got an intercutting sex scene here, which is uh, right up there with the famous sex scene in Don't Look Now, except it's two women in a lake intercut with a monkey putting on some Ray-Bans and smoking a Marlboro. I, I get more entertainment out of that, frankly, than just seeing what they would look like putting their clothes on. Oh, Horror of Party Beach. Okay, this one. I am so glad you guys put this out. When I was a kid, I watched this and I didn't understand it. I couldn't believe it. It was it was rock and roll. It was big, dumb looking rubber monsters. I didn't know if it was supposed to be funny. I didn't know if it was supposed to be scary. I didn't know if it was supposed to rock or not. It's the voodoo. That's what it is. So many years had passed. I uh, didn't believe it existed. I thought it had to have. It was so ridiculous. I thought it had to have been something I made up. And then lo and behold, years later, you guys, Severin, puts out a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Blu-ray um, master of this with the music and the monster, and it's, uh, 
it's just fantastic. Thank you for making me believe maybe I'm not as crazy as I thought I was, and that movie, in fact, did exist. We'll end with what? 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 A film by Roman Polanski. What? What? I haven't even seen this yet. I'm just so glad you guys put it out, because what? What? And Repulsion was uh, an enormous film for me. It uh, greatly inspired my first movie, The Unborn. And this is what um, he made after Rosemary's Baby. Right. Off you go then. I've got some important business to do. So these are some of my favorites. And this is the one I'm most looking forward to watching next. So um, thank you, Severin. Thumbs up. <laughs> that was very awkward. <laughs>